So <laughs> <laughs> we finally get to uh, Bronson Reed versus Braun Strowman. And oh. as I said, this was a masterpiece of meaty men. Because oh. you know what? You know who was excited about this match? Me and Pat. And you know who are big fans of uh, Bronson Reed? Me and Pat. You know who I've been telling you all to pay attention to Bronson Reed? Me and Pat. So this, you know, I'm just saying. I'm not saying that we're the only ones saying it, but we, we're we kind of up there. So, okay. Meaty man matches are generally pretty good. Unless you look in the Vince McMahon era and you're talking about, like, the Big Show versus the Great Kotli. Then you're watching, like, prehistoric no, so footage of dinosaurs mm. or something. But because uh, they barely move, it's like, oh, you know, um, yeah. but yeah. I love what they did in this match. I was obsessed with it. I was sitting there with like my hand over my mouth. Like I could not believe the things that they were doing. And I, I like, I don't even know what to say about it. Cause Bronson is an absolute beast. I mean, Bron. Braun gets credit too, obviously. Yeah, the, like, this is sorry, Braun. You're not the cover conversation right now. But it's the like, man, yeah, man of the hour. Bronson Big. Reed is incredible, and it's insane to me because we have talked about all of these like random times over the last like what year or two that it's like, oh, okay, Triple H is putting f- focus on Bronson Reed again, but it's like for a month and then it's down, like it's dead, and then he comes back and then it's dead again. This past month of the stuff they've been doing with Bronson Reed is the best stuff they could have had him doing. He's so over. People hate him. and People are terrified of him. This made it worse. This man did a tsunami off of a concrete wall onto a Chrysler 300. Sarah, yeah, I'm waiting for you to get there. Uh, When he tsunami Ron Strowman through that car... um, I I was so baffled to the point where I was so confused why the lights were flickering. And I was like, why? It's like, I don't... And he, like, it went through the car. Mm-hmm. It was insane. And yeah, that happened. But the motherfucker did a toe pit. He did a suicide dive. I know. Went out there right and- before the commercial, too. I was like, this is a disservice. This is insane. To a- and then he goes out there. They put each other or try to put each other through the stage that didn't work yeah and then he just they're beating people up backstage and he puts them through the car like incredible that's how you build a monster why do you think i was trying to i was really holding my tongue making our predictions for the triple threat next week but how do you have that man just not win let me say lose but just not walk out of that match the winner that's why i have to pick him well, and, and, yeah, you can do some farce, whatever, because Braun, let's face it, I don't care who you are. You got to at least have the Braun Strowman stay out at least a week after being put through that yeah. car. What a better way to reignite this and make this into a bigger match than have him interfere in the Fatal Four Way. Because then, yeah. oh, he doesn't win. He's not going after Braun Break. We got to tease there a little bit. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Bron- Bron- Bronson Reed, great job. Well, I mean, other than my initial reaction to Bronson Reed doing this, it was also a reminder to me of how easy it is or how easy it should be for wrestling companies to put together big meaty men matches and have people want to see it. You know, because like, as I said, Vince McMahon was really into the big guys, but he was really into the ones that he could sell as like, oh, this is a giant. And for the most part, they're not always super athletic. They can't move very well. And people don't want to see those two those types of dudes against each other. You know, like Mm -hmm. it's not entertaining. But then when you see like. Who would have ever guessed that a man of Bronson Reed's size could do do a suicide suicide dive through the top and middle rope? Really? Like, when have you ever seen that? You know, so like, it's it's crazy to me that he was, wasn't he released like twice by Vince and then Triple H brought him back? I don't know if it's twice, but at least once. Like, dude, 
this is what we want to see because it's like as great as it is to see, you know, the 220 guy versus the 220 guy or like, you know, uh, the flippy matches <laughs> or whatever. It's like you also need to have some sort of balance because you do want to see these like big dudes wrestle too because like yeah. that's fun to watch as well. That's still entertainment. 